Hey everybody, it's week three and we are taking on Texas Tech. It looks like this is going to be an away game for us, so let's see how we do on the road. can't remember what the last game was, if it was away or a home game. But either way, this one's going to be an away game. Uh, we have a very limited offense, so let's see if we can keep up with this Texas Tech offense. Uh, I'm going to do a short throw over the middle to Javon Baker. Down to the 40-yard line. And it is first and 10 now at the 40-yard line. John Plumley looks to throw, trying to find somebody open. It's going to be a short throw to the middle, incomplete. It's going to be another passing play by John Plumley. this time to Baker again. And gets pushed out of bounds for a first down at the 50. Going to hand it off to Harvey, who gets tackled for a one-yard loss. Another passing play, this time Baker is wide open, almost breaks free, but gets tackled at the 35-yard line. Texas Tech rushing. Dangerous throw by uh, Plumley, but it is caught by Baker, half yard short. It was actually two yards short of the first down. Looking like a half yard to me, but it's going to be spotted half, uh, two yards short. This time a first down catch. Bringing first and 10 down to the 19. Texas Tech lined up to rush again. It's going to be a short, quick pass. Barely gets it off in time to uh, one of the receivers or tight end. And it's going to be another handoff to Harvey, who again gets sacked for a, or gets tackled for a loss about a half a yard this time. Second and goal. Short pass to uh, one of the receivers for. A uh, few yards, still half short, half yard short of the goal line. And Plumley trying to take off and run, but gets sacked before he can get away. And that brings up fourth and goal for UCF. Texas Tech rushing. Plumley gets it away before getting pushed down. That probably should have been a penalty. And uh, it is a touchdown for UCF. UCF going for two. And throw right between defenders to Baker and is caught. So UCF goes eight up eight to zero with 44 seconds left in the first quarter, and Texas Tech will be forced to punt, and UCF has it at the 14 yard line. John Plumley ha Plumley has all day to throw, gets it to the receiver who tries to run around the defense, breaks a few people, miss, gets 18 yards down to the 32 yard line. So now the second quarter, and a short pass over the middle gets uh, nine yards. Second and in inches. UCF gonna do a passing play here. It's gonna be caught for 16 yards with Baker. UCF now at the 43 yard line. Past midfield, it's gonna be a catch again by another receiver at UCF for a first down. Hand off to Plumley, not Plumley, Harvey. <laughs> Harvey, the running back, down to the 20 yard line. This time, UCF is now in the red zone. UCF still has two minutes left on the clock. A dangerous throw by Baker. Could have been intercepted, but is caught. Plumley looking to throw again. Trying to find somebody open and finds a receiver wide open at the edge of the end zone and touchdown. And I will go for two here again. <laughs> I saw a defender. He started to pop out of that defensive line, and he just, like, peeked out. I was like, no, you're not going to get me today. Texas Tech. They score a touchdown, and they go for two, and they get it. So it is 16 to 8. 48 seconds left. That's enough time for UCF to score. Going to return it back out, <clears throat> out to the... 25, no, 30. Well, that's pretty good. Oh, wow. Oh, could this finally be the kick return touchdown? If only I had a faster re returner, this totally could have been. 44-yard kick return. Wow. That was uh, the best I've ever had in a long time, at least. I've gotten better, but basically the best I've ever had. I've only had maybe a two or three better than that. I have a lot of seasons. Should have called timeout there, so hopefully I can still score here. 
I don't like the way my stars are lined up. I have a chance here. And I don't like the way that's lined up. Oh, that's a really bad throw. No, <laughs> I was intercepted with three seconds left. I knew that was a dangerous throw when it happened. Uh, I need better receivers so I can get them open. So 16 and 8, and uh, Texas Tech, though, had a punt, so that's a huge relief. And a throw to Baker on the sideline. He goes down the sideline. He's at the 50, the 45, the 40, the 35, 30. And he's going to get down to the 25, breaks a tackle. It's almost down to the 15 before getting tackled. Longest passing play for UCF this whole entire season. And a quick throw to Baker right before Plumlee gets tackled. We are down at the three-yard lines, first and goal. And it looked like it was a touchdown pass, but it, got, it was incomplete. Got batted down by the Texas Tech defense. This time a pass to Baker for the touchdown. And it is now 22-8. to eight. UCF will go for two again and another pass. And it's 24-8. to eight. All right, Texas Tech. They have to punt the ball again. Their offense is struggling against this UCF defense. It's going to be a throw to the middle of the field to Harvey, the running back. Gets down to the 40-yard line. Too dangerous to throw, and Plumlee gets sacked, waiting for somebody to get open. It's going to be a short throw, a little bit safer. And gets pushed out of bounds. The receiver gets about nine yards. It's third and inches right now. Another pass to a uh, receiver. We're down to the 25. First and 10 now. At the 35, or 30 actually. And uh, Baker with the catch as Plumley throws again right before getting tackled. Gets it down to the 10 yard line. And looking for a touchdown pass to the end zone, but nobody gets open, so Plumley gets sacked again. I don't know how many times that is in one game. Dangerous throw, but it's thrown between defenders. And uh, Harvey gets it down to about a yard away from the end zone. There's technically still a possibility to get a first down without getting the touchdown, but it would be uh, very difficult. But uh, Harvey runs it in, so it works out. So touchdown UCF. UCF now going for two again. And gets it, so it's 32-8 to eight now with... Uh, Basically the whole last quarter, whole fourth quarter left. Two and a half minutes now left in the fourth quarter, and Texas Tech will score. And uh, they will punt it, not punt it, but they will kick it off again. So UCF up by three scores. I had to add that up real quick in my head. be pretty difficult to lose it at this point. I'd have to try to, and even then I don't know if I could lose it. And obviously I'm not going to try to, so don't have to worry about that. We are at the 50-yard line, and uh, 1 minute and 30 seconds left. That should be pretty easy to score again, so we should be able to go up by 4 touchdowns by the time this is over. And we get to Baker again, one of my best players, one of the best receivers. Oh, I went out of bounds thinking I was getting pushed out, but I should have just kept going straight. There we go. Missed a tackle. And I get tackled for 20 yards that time. A minute left. I don't really care about how much time I leave in the clock because I'll be up by four touchdowns. A minute's not, a left, not enough for them to score four times. So we have this game won. We already put it away a while ago, but that definitely put it away with that touchdown. And there we go. Touchdown, UCF, and two-point conversion. So 40-15 to 15 now. And let's watch Texas Tech run out the clock. They'll actually punt it with four seconds left. And I get it to 16, so I have a chance, a very small chance, but a chance. A okay, never mind. I don't even have a chance because uh, my receiver wasn't fast enough to get past the defense. Well, he did just break a tackle, though, but he's got too many defenders on him. All right. So 40 to 15, that was a great victory to have in our third week. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in week four.